The floodwaters are beginning to recede in New Orleans, but city officials are pressing ahead with their order for everyone to leave because of health reasons. Today, police were ordered to remove people by force if necessary. KTVU's Ken Wayne rode along with a unit of the California Highway Patrol and witnessed some residents putting up a fight. He joins us now from New Orleans. Ken. Dennis, the uh, California Highway Patrol has about 100 officers here, including 20 of them from the Bay Area, and they were out on the streets of New Orleans today urging the few residents that remain to evacuate, but not everyone wanted to go. Officers found an elderly woman on Magazine Street. She had stayed behind with her two dogs and refused to come out. Officers finally got into the house and found the woman was armed with a handgun and a knife. You're going to have to shoot me because I'm not going. Well, I don't want you in here. Well, I don't want you in here, period. Don't do that. Don't in here, period. Wait, 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 wait. You got a gun. Relax, 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 relax. Relax, man. Relax, man. We're just trying to help you, ma'am. You know, it's their house, it's their home, and a lot of people, especially the older people, they have dogs, and it's like their loved ones. And they're scared they're going to lose their house and lose their dogs, so it's, I, probably, probably I'll protect our, our own stuff. Have a seat and relax. No, I'm sitting on my take porch. Care of Let me sit on the porch. That woman was finally loaded onto a military cargo truck taken to the convention center and then uh, to be processed, uh, taken by helicopter to the New Orleans airport and to be set up to where she could find a safe place to be. She was allowed to bring her two dogs along with her, but of course officers kept the gun and the knife. But it's an indication of what highway patrol officers and police from all over the nation are finding as they assist New Orleans police and Louisiana State Police in trying to evacuate this city. Dennis, Julie? Ken, it's obvious they're, they're going to use uh, physical force to remove someone who does not want to go. The obvious question now is, uh, would they use deadly force? Well, I don't think so, Dennis. Uh, I mean, here you had a woman with a gun. Uh, she's, she's elderly. She doesn't appear to be a threat, but a gun is a gun. And uh, officers certainly had the option, you would think, in using deadly force. They're not kicking down doors. They're not dragging people from their homes. But in this case, the woman had a gun. So that is a bit of a different scenario. In the cases, the other cases we saw, and there were dozens of other people who were removed, most came out willingly. A few grumbled about it, didn't want to come out, but officers basically talked them into coming out. Uh, but they're knocking on doors, and if nobody answers, uh, they're not kicking the doors to go in. And Ken, are they basically operating day by day, the members of the CHP? Have they indicated where they might go next? They're fanning out through the city. This uh, area was called Irish Canal uh, along Magazine Street and some of the neighborhoods there. So they're going door to door and uh, they're checking the residences. If they find anything, you know, perhaps a dead body or something like that, they will mark that uh, location. Uh, but they're basically just trying to get everybody out of those neighborhoods. They're fanning out across the city. It's not only the 100 California Highway Patrol officers who are doing this. There are officers from all over the country here.